Hi, welcome back to Pinoy Swiss Abroad. If you're new to my channel, please try to watch in full before subscribing. Please check my previous travel series at the description box below. Here we are again showing you in front of the harbour side here in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. This is the sixth video of my Wellington travel series. Please check them out. Ang ganda po ng paligid, di ba po? Nauhulaan niyo po ba kung saan ko kayo dadalhin this time? Nope, not there. Mag-enjoy po muna tayo. I just want to show you around the nearby places near the Tepapa Museum. Yes po, that big building is the museum, Wellington's Tepapa Museum. Welcome! Big and beautiful, di ba po? It is also big and beautiful inside. But before we start to tour you around, let's eat. Let's just have some snacks. There is also a coffee shop upstairs. Let's go up and start our tour. And this is the reception area for more information. Napakaganda po talaga sa loob, di ba po? Malaki po siya, malinis. At saka dahil wala pong international tourist, so medyo kaunti lang po kami diyon. There are also some exhibitions around that you can go to. There are also some histories in the 18th century and some art section that you can check. We were here last year and it's showing the same uh, theme. So I'm only showing you just a few of these. This is about the story of Gallipoli World War I. This is the real story of eight ordinary New Zealanders from an extraordinary circumstances. The Papa Museum extends this Gallipoli exhibition up to Anzac Day of April 2022. There's still one more year to go, so we hope by that time, the world will be okay and everybody's healing from the struggles brought by this pandemic. If you don't know yet, Gallipoli is in Turkey. These eight giant figures has a monumental scale of 2.4 times of the human size and its total of 24,000 hours to create and countless hours to research their rich histories. Weta Workshop is the one who created these amazing figures and cutting-edge technology to make our experience as if you're there to witness this terrible war in Gallipoli. Now we move on to underwater research. As you can see, these are the type of creatures that you will find under the deep waters as per their scale. And this is my first time to see a flying squid at 1,200 meters deep. And it's interesting to see that this octopus is capturing this squid for a meal. If you want to know more about what's here in Tipapa Museum, 
please go to tipapa.govt.nz. The Northern Royal Albatross is a huge white albatross with black upper wings. It usually mates for life. Sana all and breeds only in New Zealand. There's also a tiny colony near Dunedin which is a major tourist attraction. Albatrosses are the world's largest seabirds. There are 24 different species of albatrosses, 13 varieties breed in New Zealand more than anywhere else in the world. Several are extremely rare. There are two species of albatrosses with a wingspan of 3 meters. There you go! Maggalagala po muna tayo. Just have a look around what's in here. Break time po muna tayo. Have to go to the toilet. And after that, this is the view. Don't worry, there are a lot of toilets inside the museum. But because where we are, the location is different from the other. So we have to go down below. Uh, the location of this toilet is downstairs. And this is the connecting bridge of where we went to. Please go to Tipapa website if you want to see more of what's inside the museum. This time I will show you the surrounding views outside the museum. If you watched my previous videos, you will see that this harbor site connects to the port along the way. I'll show you what these birds are doing. And this is the another place where you can sit and relax or do some people watching. And this is one of the famous icon here in Wellington. Now let's walk around. Maggalagala po muna tayo at tignan po natin ang paligid. Makikita nyo po sa dikalayuan yung museum. Kita nyo po ba? beautiful harbor side with a view of the church on top of the hill. Yes, as you can see, people here love boating. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, sizes of the boats. You can do a lot of water activities here. And here we are in Oriental Bay, as you can see some modern apartments. There are some office buildings here as well as uh, restaurants, coffee shops, and mini playgrounds. It's very nice to stroll here. Have some bondings with the family, as you can see. Admire the old and new houses in front.
and if you're lucky, you will see some whale species here at the harbor side. If you don't know yet, mas marami po kayong makikitang whale dito kesa sa shark. Marami po kasing bumibisitang whale dito, big and small, kesa sa shark. At marami din pong mga makukulit na seagulls na aagawin yung pagkain nyo kung hindi kayo nakatingin. There will be one more video to finish this uh, Wellington travel series. Please wait for it. Special thank you to all those who finished this video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button.